This is the new Mercedes AMG A45, Merck's ferociously quick answer to the Audi RS3 Sportback. And here are the car wow top 10 things you need to know about it. The A45 gets a muscular body kit, sporty alloys and fat exhaust that could double as mortar barrels. So is it cool enough to throw a bucket of cold water over the hot hatch competition? Click on the pop-out banner in the top right-hand corner of the screen to vote which you think looks the best. The Mercedes-MG A45, the Audi RS3 Sportback, the Volkswagen Golf R or the BMW M2 competition. Those pumped up looks aren't just for show. The standard A45 gets a turbocharged 2 litre with 387 horsepower and 475 newton metres of torque. And with four wheel drive, it'll do 0 to 60 miles an hour in just four seconds. The A45S gets 421 horsepower and 500 newton metres of torque, making it the most powerful four cylinder car you can buy. It manages 0 to 60 a whole tenth of a second quicker than the standard car. Both models get an 8-speed dual-clutch automatic gearbox, which means faster gear changes than you get with a normal torque converter auto, which BMW seems to be reverting to in its latest M cars for cost-cutting reasons. Anyway, flat out, the baby AMG can hit a limited 168 miles an hour, but who knows just how fast it could go if Mercedes only removed the electronic harnesses. If you want your A45 with a little more style, then the slinky CLA45 might be your thing. Its sloping roofline and pillarless doors ooze cool, but the downside is that you get less rear headroom and a smaller boot than the hatchback, though it's still just as ludicrously quick. And if you fancy a fast small Mercedes with a bit more space, there'll most likely be an A45 saloon eventually too. The UK is only getting the A45S and it should cost from around £50,000 when it goes on sale at the end of August. To be fair, that's about the same as Audi wants for the RS3 Sportback, which has been recently updated but is fundamentally pretty ancient now. Fancy swapping the hatchback body for a stylish CLA45 four-door coupe? Well, that'll be an extra £2,000, please. The A45's interior certainly isn't subtle especially this one as it looks as though a council road worker has gone on a yellow line painting rampage in here. The seat belt's yellow, there's yellow on the flat bottom steering wheel, there's yellow on the dashboard trim and there's even yellow on the seat. Thankfully it is possible to have your A45's interior without this yellow infusion. Thank goodness for that. Given all the performance on tap, it's good to know that the A45 has a set of anchors big enough to stop the Titanic. OK, uh, bad analogy. Seriously though, the six-pot front brake calipers on this S model are the same size as you'll find on a Porsche 911. And just like a thoroughbred sports car, this little AMG has drilled ventilated discs all round that help keep the temperatures down when you're hammering out laps on the track. Also, they kind of look cool, don't they? The A45's interior gets a revamped infotainment system with some cool features you only find on this AMG. There's a super sport mode, which puts the rev counter in the center of the dashboard. There's also a warm up mode, so you don't thrash the car's engine when it's too cold, thereby preventing damage. Oh, there's a G meter too, which you'll never ever look at. Although the A45 has grippy four wheel drive, there is a way to loosen things up. It's called drift mode. And I've seen it somewhere else before, on a Ford actually. And just like the system in the Focus RS, the Merck's drift mode is designed to transform it into a power sliding monster. Hopefully it's more successful at this than the Fords, though I doubt it will ever slide as well as the bigger all-wheel drive E63S, as the Haldex four-wheel drive system in the A45 can never fully be rear drive only. The A45 has completely overhauled suspension compared to the standard A-Class. Along with uprated springs, you get uprated dampers and stiffer anti-roll bars. Plus, the entire front and rear suspension systems have been solid mounted to the body to make the car feel more precise. There's an extra steel plate in the engine bay and additional struts hidden under the front and back of the car too. All this should make the A45 feel stiffer and more aggressive than the standard car. If you go for the A45S, then you get Mercedes AMG Track Pack. This includes something called a virtual race engineer. And while it may sound like it's a mini Toto Wolf stuffed into your glove box, it's actually a feature in the sat-nav that guides you around a variety of famous racing circuits, as fast as possible. 
It works by superimposing braking zones and turning points onto the image of the track on the infotainment screen. A bit like when you have all the driving aids on in Gran Turismo. And even if you never go on a race circuit, the same system can be used to record 0-60 and quarter mile sprint times.